Vitesse 1 Tottenham 0, second string Spurs shocked by Dutch minnows in Europa Conference League horror show. Nuno Espirito Santo's selection gamble backfired as his Spurs stiffs lost this battle in Arnhem. The Tottenham boss started a kid called Scarlet up front, which was apt because that was the color of his face after this defeat. Vitesse have their opener. 3A lovely volley from Witek gives the home side an historic lead. Yen number UECL pick. Twitter.com Grutisigi Nuno's decision to leave all of his big stars at home did not pay off as his second string were deservedly beaten by the club currently sixth in the Eredivisie. Maximilian Witek's 78th minute winner was just reward for the Dutchman's dominance. As for Tottenham, they hardly had a shot on target, with Brian Gill's shot against the bar just after the break their only effort of note. You wonder what their late legendary striker Jimmy Greaves, whose funeral is on Friday, would have made of playing in a team with tactics like this. You had to feel for 17-year-old Dane Scarlett, who was asked to fill Harry Kane's boots in the Spurs attack. Holland recently relaxed some of its COVID restrictions. But the poor kid was still left in isolation on a bad night for the North Londoners. There is no doubt whatever Nuno says, he underestimated Vitesse and paid the price. Arnhem is of course famous as being the location of the true story which inspired the classic World War II flick A Bridge Too Far. This was arguably a step too far for Nuno as his second string showed no stomach for the fight, unlike their hosts. The test came into this clash off the back of two successive league wins, including a 1-0 victory at NEC Nijmegen, which literally brought the house down. The visiting GLN's wart, yellow and black, supporters jumped up and down, so much they caused the stand to collapse. Fortunately no one was seriously injured, but Vitesse followers were just as raucous on Thursday night as Vitesse celebrated their first sellout crowd at the Jellardome since a 1-1 draw with Ajax seven years ago. In the noisy home end a fan waved a giant flag with the words we're all mad here. While across the entire front of the stand, the local ultras had made a banner specially for the occasion which read, for the city, the colors and our club, this is our night. With the hosts in yellow, and black striped shirts and white shorts, and socks and spurs in all purple, we at least had two awful kits befitting this tinpot competition. Spurs started slowly, and their keeper Perlugi Gallini had to race off his line to deny Nikolai Baden Fredriksen in only the third minute. The Londoners escaped again when Jacob Rasmussen's near post header from a Witek corner flew across the goal and narrowly white of the target. The best Nuno's stiffs could muster in the first half were a couple of Giovanni Lo Celso set pieces. Half chances at best. Things appeared to be looking up after the break when Gill curled a shot against the bar within 90 seconds of the restart. But it turned out to be a false dawn as they again went on the back foot. Wing back Eli Dasa went close for the hosts with a 25 yard drive which went inches wide. Dasa then had Gallini diving to the other side of his goal with another long range effort that was saved by the Italian. But there was nothing the Spurs stopper could do. 